please, this is Simsfell and welcome back to Cloud Run where we are joining the Northwick family on their magical horse farm. It is 6am on a Saturday morning and Maple Northwick is writing her novel Caring for Petals and improving her writing skill which I think she needs to get done for school to improve her grade. She's currently a B grade student and the others are around the farm doing something. We also had in the previous episode a scorched little foal born, a little filly. So she is over here in the box store resting a bit and she came out quite interesting. She's got like the really dark blue tail and then the light blue mane. Now, unfortunately she did not get the white coat that we were hoping for but she still looks super cute. She's got like two blue socks on her front quarters so that's exciting. And then one of her hooves, I actually don't know what kind of like what colored hooves she has. She's got I know her brother had like all silver. Okay, so she's got two silver and two that's like a beige brown shade. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, so she's over there. When she starts running around a bit more, we'll be able to see what she looks like. But since the previous episode, I've gone ahead. I actually, no, I think I probably would have cleared this up beforehand. But basically, if you're wondering why the pond is so small, I don't know if I cleared this previously. I probably did. In case I didn't though, I did drain the the lake a little bit. The the pond that we have, the huge pond, I drained it a bit because I just felt like we needed space. So there we go. That's why we have all this dirt and mud all around the place because the pond got drained. And let me know if I should go ahead. What? What? Yeah. Let me know if I should go ahead and actually um, like put grass over here or kind of leave that to show that the dra the pond's been drained. I might actually leave it for a couple of days, but then I feel like kind of to imitate the fact that grass is going to grow back, I'll go through and like um, paint it with grass later on. But for now, I think I'll leave it. I mean, they've freshly drained the lake. It should be like that or the pond. So it, I, I feel like it should be like that. Okay. I'm sorry for stuttering so much. Let's see what we want to get done. Okay. The itty bitty baby is sleeping. Maple is just on a roll, so that is awesome. Oh, I was like, what? How the hell is he the spring dance king? Camelon, what have you been doing? Oh, okay then. <laughs> Maybe he went over next door and... Oh, we need to pay the bills. Maybe he went over next door and um, just decided to do some dancing. But he is now the spring dance king. Why not? And let's collect our reward. And then as soon as that's done... We actually have a lot of money, so I was thinking, calm down. Okay, we paid the bills. Um, let's get mail and see what we got in the mail. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, so Furby, oh, sent us some, what, skimmeters, some swords, because he likes us. Okay, Estelle also likes us. Oh, oh, Drake Prince Buff has a thing for Wisp? I had no clue. Kelly, Pri oh geez, <laughs> the Prince Puffs have a thing for the Northwicks. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, Jerry Weaver also has a thing for Wisp. Oh wow, a bunch of people. Jerry Weaver actually sent two letters. Would you look at that? So they have a bunch of things going on. Very interesting. Okay, the young foal needs to feed. So if it can track down its mother and nurse from her, that would make me very, very happy. And we can also get a good look at what she looks like out in the sun. Because I think she was born like really early in the morning, so we didn't get a super good look. But look at her, she's got like the blue eyes and stuff. So this is the young filly that we had. How cute is she? Very cute. Very cute indeed. Yeah, look, you can kind of see next to her mother the differences in how they look. Like the hooves, she's got like, uh, I think a set of hooves from her father and a set from her mother. And then she's got the two blue socks at the front. And then she's got the, she's got like a, kind of like an ankle sock, sort of a white ankle sock thing going on over here. That's cute. And then the blue speckling, she shares that with her mother. Obviously her father's tail, but then her mother's mane. 
She's cute though. She's cute. Even though it wasn't the type of fall that we wanted, she is still cute. And I'm happy with that. So that's fine. Okay. So she's nursing and she's super happy. That makes me super happy. How's little Finch doing? He's doing okay. Maple, you wanted to... Oh yeah, you're still doing your own thing. So continue, continue. Frost, meanwhile, he wanted to sign up for an obstacle activity, chat with Finch, so a fairy house party, learn the painting skills. So where is his brother Finch? Finch is sleeping. Okay. Since Finch is sleeping, let's throw a fairy house party and disturb him. Oh godness. Godness? Is that even a word? Goodness, that's what I meant. Yeah, he's just gonna go. I don't know if that's gonna disturb his brother. Little Finch is gonna sleep through it. No clue, but he wants to do that, so he's going to. No stopping him now. Okay, here he goes. Oh yeah. Is that classical music? I'm hearing classical music. Wow. Wow, Frost, didn't know you were that type of person. Actually, oh, it's because it's his favorite music, probably. That's why he's throwing classical music. That's fun. Okay, Wiss. Okay, cool, she's completed her opportunity, which means if her brother would like, he can actually jump up and um, sign up for an obstacle activity. So I'll get him to do that. So if I'm looking at his traits, he is a bookworm. He is a bookworm, and he does have the writing skill. Now, if we sign him up to an obstacle activity, like obstacle class, um, hmm, I don't have the study club, like, where's the book club? That's what I want. I guess the study club is probably the closest thing to book club. So, he's thrown his fairy house party, he knows his sister's out, or his sister's done at the laptop, he's gonna jump in here, sign up for a study club. I think his sister is part of the shop club, so that's great. Hopefully it helps her. I think that's she might have gotten this assignment from that. So actually now writing should be one of her interests. So we'll pop that in. So interests, writing. There we go. So she has one interest right now. It's kind of like their hobbies. And so does, yep, there we go. He's got writing as well. So the siblings, I was going to say the siblings, no, the siblings both share um, a hobby. So that's nice. They have something to bond over at least, even though they don't spend a whole lot of time together. And I'm not entirely sure if that was an assignment she got from school or if that was an assignment she got from the club. I'm unsure about it, but still, it's fun. Okay. Off School Study Club is great help for academically minded sims as this club excels at tutoring students on various school subjects. You will soon be able to complete your homework faster. Okay, I guess that's the benefit we get, that it's completely fine. He, he's a bookworm, so he would be studious. Yeah, because he can finish the... See, there we go. He can already finish homework faster as a bookworm, but that study club will probably also help him. So he's already an A-grade student, his sister's a B-grade student. If she does her homework, she should be getting there pretty soon. Yeah, I think she's working on it right now. It would be great if you guys could like do homework together. But that's fine. You kind of are doing it together, just on the ground, out here. That's quite nice. So I'll let them work on that. Um, Frost? Hmm. I kind of want to clear all their whims before I grab new ones, but I like always grabbing new ones. Talk to Wisp. So he wants to talk to his mother. Where is she? Oh, okay. She's just dancing. Ah. I'll let him finish his homework, though. That's important for him. Camelon. Camelon, Camelon, Camelon. Okay, Camelon's sleeping, so I'll probably leave him be. Mm, he's got all these things he wants to do, and Wisp has a... She wants to buy a rocking chair. Did I not do that for you? Apparently I didn't. Okay, I'll, I'll grab a rocking chair. We can probably fit one in into this room. So let's see if we can find a rocking chair somewhere. Living chairs. Where's the rickety, rockety rocking chair? Um, would it be under comfort? Probably. Rocking chair? Possibly anywhere? I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, would it be in the dining chair maybe? Or a living chair? 
a living chair, right? I don't know. Oh, oh, this is a rocking chair. That's the rocking chair. I think there's like one type of rocking chair available. Okay, so I'll pop this one in right over there. And that's, they're probably going to be there all the time now. Every single like moment they can get, they're probably going to be on that rocking chair. Sims normally tend to do that. But let me just, there we go. That makes me happy. Okay, so we have one of her whims that she wanted done and she can use that whenever she so wishes. Um, also, why do the horses, horses, oh my goodness. Okay. No bridle. No bridle. Bride, you need to get that bridle off. So let's get someone to remove that bridle for you. And then we'll get Wisp to go to the bathroom. And what else does she want to do? She wants to befriend all co-workers and gain celebrity star level. I like leaving those for work so that we can, you know, work on other things at home. But what else? She wants to tickle Finch, 250, 250. Okay, tickle Finch and repair the broken sink. Um, handiness is one of her hobbies, so I'll get her to actually jump to that. Oh, she has work. Well, she'll jump onto that whenever she can. Whenever she can. For now, though, she's going to focus on some other things. Little Finch is being happy with... Who is this? We had a peanut. We had uh, someone else. Fluffs. This is Fluffs. Great. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's going to be friends with Fluffs. Why not? Do what you want, child. Oh yeah, we also put... <laughs> we put down a water slide in the previous episode. And oh, look! Scorch just so confused. She's like, what is this contraption? It's squishy and it sprays water. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually included a water slide in any of my, like, households. So he wants to use a rocking chair, but you're also hungry. Do you have any food in the fridge? I think, yeah, go eat some cheesesteak. I know having like fairy dust or whatever, fairy pollen is probably really nice, but that's convenient for the toddler. I like to think of it as like, you know, formula for the babies, but you, you eat the eat food your mother makes, man. Eat the food your mother makes. Once you're done eating, go use the rocking chair. See, I told you, they would want to, oh, he can rock with Finch. We're gonna get him to do that. He's gonna rock with Finch. He's gonna bond with his baby brother. Oh, that'll be so cute. And shut that thing off. Oh, that'll be so cute. He's gonna he's gonna be on the rocking chair with his baby brother. Oh, I'm gonna love that. Okay, who's this? Washburn. I don't know a washburn. I don't want to do that. If it was one of the fairies, I would have tried, but it's a washburn. Actually, I think Yeah, Cyriacu may be related to the person that hmm. Maybe related to the person that Maple has a thing with. But okay, so Mitchell does not... Yeah, and then we know that Melanie is the thing that Finn Frost has a thing with. Is the thing? Is the one. Jeez. <laughs> is the one. Okay. And Takesha, Takesha and Mitchell are actually really attractive siblings. Like, they look really cute. <sighs> okay, I'll let them be then. I'll let them be. Are you done eating? Are you gonna rock on the rocking chair with your younger brother? I wanna see that. Except can you change out of these into proper clothes, please? He's gonna have to change into proper clothes. I'm sorry, because that, that isn't happening. Okay, every day... Jeez, I really went all out with those colors. Like, I can't tell which out or like if one outfit's different from the other one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, let's come here. Let's come here and rock with Finch. It would be cool if we could rock with the cats, like your pets. That would be cute. If not a dog, like a cat, even a small dog, that would have been cute. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's grab itty bitty Finch. And let's head over to the rocking chair. Look at him being the big brother. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I love it. He wants to nap as well. Now's not the time for napping, okay? Not the time. <gasps> Look at that. It's so cute. Aww. 
Can he talk with Finch? Um, can we like just chat with him? He wants to chat with Finch. Do we have to teach him to talk? Does that not count as rocking? No? Does that not count? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop rocking. We're gonna go teach Finn to talk because he wants to chat. Oh no, that did count. Nice. He wants to teach his younger brother to talk though. I hope that counts as chat. I mean, he wants to chat. I hope that counts. I was teaching him to talk. So he's gonna get started on the skill to be a good older brother and do that. He's an A grade student and has completed all his homework. His sister has also completed all her homework. Um, she's getting some rest. Oh yeah, Frost is getting tired. Frost is getting tired. Okay, if you can stay up just a little bit. Actually, it's 5 p.m. Maybe we have to wait till 6 before we can... Hmm. She wants to talk about imaginary friend to someone. She also wants to tickle Finch and stuff. Okay, I think Wisp got some... Yeah, she got like a potion. She was going to give a potion to, to Maple. So someone needs to do that pretty soon, hopefully. And, oh, Camelon, you should be awake now. She's not being noisy because she's not at home, you silly doofus. He's going to go clean up himself. Let's go grab some cheesesteak. And then, you know what I want to do with him? He does feel stir crazy, so I was thinking maybe we could actually get him to harvest the plants in the garden a little bit. Jeez, we've got a whole bunch of dead plants. But I was thinking maybe you could harvest up whatever plants we have available. Um, tend the garden, basically, harvest the plants, and then we could take the plants that have fruited um, out to the market and kind of sell them off there. We might... Should we do consignment? We might not do consignment. I think if we just, like, sell at the, the grocery store... That should help us out anyways. I think he, he already has a bunch of like apples that he hasn't sold yet. But I want him to go and grab some more stuff. And then we'll go out and sell those. And that'll help him get kind of further along in his career as a gardener as well. Which, I mean, there is no pay except for what he makes himself. But it's still fun to go ahead and check a bunch of those things out. Oh no, Finch needs to be cleaned. Okay, I think you should wrap up and probably change your brother's diaper. And then use the bathroom and probably head off to sleep. Yeah, he's really tired. So he's going to head off to sleep. He's going to wake up like at 3 a.m., which I guess is fine. Let's check up on Scorched. Where's your mother Scorched? Oh, Bride's in the stall. Can you go into the stall then? You can go in. Yeah, Scorched, you can go into the stall, you can hang around with your mother and be okay, don't freak out. Don't worry, just hang out with Bride. And who gave her the bridle again? Oh, that makes me so cheesed off. That cheeses me off so much. When they put the bridle on the horses and leave it on, like, that would be so uncomfortable. Like, would you want to sleep with a choker on all the time? No, I doubt it. Okay. What happened? Did something important happen? I don't know. Maybe something did. Maybe it did not. Okay, Tickle Finch. You wanted to tickle your brother, and since he's over here, let's go ahead and do that. Let's tickle him. And your father's busy in the garden. Yep, there we go. Also, one of the things that we haven't really been working on, and I, and I kind of want to... Maybe we should get him to actually use his auras more because if he uses his auras then maybe he's going to be able to get the powers where he can just you know bloom the plants because that's part of his wish and I do want to try and complete the the wish yeah okay we'll read cobbler but I do want to try and complete his lifetime wish and I want Wis to complete hers as well which she hasn't even gotten started on but actually no she has she's been working on charisma but I still I want her to you know try a little bit more Camelon's at level 7 of gardening, which is great. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't have their, like, personalities and characters worked out when I signed their 
um, lifetime wishes, but I don't want to change it now. I actually want to go through with it, and I want to help them complete it. But guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.